79, the A320 going to Phoenix, Arizona. Who's a kilo Thai? Who is that? Cam 80, 81 heavy, left on Alpha, short of Echo. 808 Bravo Lima, you didn't follow it. 808 Bravo Lima? 808 Bravo Lima, you told us to follow the Embraer. You follow the Embraer? Uh, JetBlue 1069? This video is sponsored by ForeFlight makers of the brand new ForeFlight Mobile 3.0, the latest version of their popular pre-flight intelligence application. You can learn more about their entire suite of aviation software at www.foreflight.com. Hi, and welcome to M0A's video podcast, episode number 18, Understanding Weather, more specifically, understanding thunderstorms. I'm your host, Jason Shepard. In today's lesson, we're going to discuss the two types of thunderstorms and the three ingredients it takes to make these storms. Also, we're going to go over the three stages of a thunderstorm along with tips for thunderstorm avoidance. Let's watch the video. Thunderstorms are one of those things that every pilot fears. They can come in a matter of minutes and hang around for hours on end. They not only affect us in the air, but also on the ground. How can we better understand these thunderstorms? To better understand thunderstorms, we need to first know the two types. The first is an air mass. When you think of an air mass, think of Florida afternoon showers. They always result from surface heating, the land just getting baked all day by the hot Florida sun. And they're usually self-destructive, meaning they rain themselves out. That's why they always say it could be raining one minute and not rain the next in Florida. That's a result of an air mass thunderstorm. Our other type of thunderstorm is the steady state thunderstorm, and that is always associated with some sort of weather system. Usually it's associated with a front like we learned about in last week's lesson. So remember, a steady state is associated with a front, while an air mass results from surface heating. So what are the three ingredients we need to create a thunderstorm? The first is sufficient water vapor, or moisture in the air. The second is an unstable lapse rate, sometimes called a temperature inversion or a change in temperature. And the last is an uplifting action or something to put all that warm, moist air into motion. So what about the different stages of a thunderstorm? There's actually three stages to every storm. The first is known as the cumulus stage. This is known as the building where most of that uplifting action takes place. This builds up the large towering cumulus clouds that you see, which then leads to the mature stage. The mature stage is categorized by first rainfall. That's how you know when a storm has entered the mature stage, when the water becomes too much for that cloud to keep holding up and it begins to rain. Lastly, it is known as the dissipating stage, and this is when the storm begins to rain itself out. What about some tips for avoiding thunderstorms? Well, first off, you'll find in the AIM that it suggests you avoid any thunderstorm by at least 20 miles. Also, avoid flying underneath the anvil of a thunderstorm. In other words, deviate upwind. You don't want to go around a thunderstorm downwind because chances are it'll catch up with you. Also, underneath the anvil, you can experience large hail and other hazards. And lastly, remember, these tops can exceed 60,000 feet, so don't try to ever fly over a thunderstorm. That's all I have for you today. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya. You're on Bravo. You're short of Victor Alpha. You're beam the Iberian. For beam Alitalia on the left there. Beam Alitalia. All right, just hang on. Jeff 179. 
and there were uh, number two holding short of Victor Alpha on Bravo. Hey, who's the first Jeff Blue on Bravo short of Victor Alpha? 35. You're an outbound? Yep. Hey, you guys should come up here one day. Jeff Blue 35 needs you to pull it right up there and hold short of Victor for me.